think tomorrow, if they can reclaim uh, this 463, 465 area, I, I do believe there's a high probability by the end of the week. Uh, this thing is Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is having a good day. So. 1968, I just want to give you the theme of today and really show you how probably really strong this market is. So 1968, there was a horror film that came out called Night of the Living Dead. As you can imagine, compared to standards, present day standards of horror movies or, or slasher films, it was pretty damn cheesy, right? But you get zombies, oh, right? Zombies. So if you look at the, the beta names for the last like three, four, five days that just didn't participate in the rally, got really crushed on the sell-offs, you know, the names like Amazons, right? The Amazons of the world and the Facebooks in the world and Netflix with their whole uh, pedophile content providing, right? Square couldn't get an uptick anywhere, right? Everything looked bleak, bleak and gleam and everything looked bad. And the most amazing part about this market is and every single time they look like they're about to fall off a map, they kind of get a bid. They, they get a very, very aggressive bid. And where the buyers kind of left the building for like a week or two weeks or three weeks, they come back with aggressive option order flow. And they really bid up the shares. Because again, it really does show you when the market is in a big uptrend, all it takes is one spark. And this spark these days are generally like an upgrade. So if you look at today, uh, the biggest movers that were left for dead, you know, Netflix got upgraded, Roku got upgraded, Square got upgraded, uh, just big, big moves. And it really does say that this market is alive and willing to go higher until it's completely dead. Uh, right, the zombies. And this is what these stocks are right now. They're, they're, they're zombies until they walk the earth again. And today was the day. They got up very, very aggressively. Um, the rotation came back into these names. And the question is, how far can they go? Because again, remember, when a zombie wakes up, again, at the end of the day, it's still dead. Is it going to actually come back to life? We don't know, right? And if you look at all these charts, again, not everything is out of the woods, just like a mirror of uh, the QQQs. But again, like we started talking about yesterday, it was a good first step. So let's kind of rewind, right? We held the 50-day moving average on Friday. We reclaimed the five-day moving average yesterday, which was very, very bullish. And today, again, we continue the move. And again, just like any other rally, supply to supply, right? Everybody see how it stops at supply? The key is, again, can we continue this momentum from this reclaiming of the 50-day moving average and start reclaiming bigger levels? Until we really get above, uh, you know, let's just call it, Roughly around 84. Everybody see the supply here, 8371. That's the linear regression line. Until we get above this 284 level on the Qs, again, baby steps, little, little baby steps. Again, the, the child is not going to just wake up uh, from the womb and start running. Okay, this is little baby steps. And if you look at the S&P 500, right, the SPX is exactly the same thing. It's a, it's a carbon copy mirror. So we bounce off the 50-day moving average, reclaim the five, got rejected off the 10. So this whole area here, uh, this 34.25 is going to be a monster, monster pivot uh, to the upside. If the bulls can reclaim uh, 34.25, 34.26 on the close on the SPX, we should start uh, next like higher back to uh, all time highs. But until then, again, one trade at a time. Don't put any opinions on that. You know you can't you know put your money behind until they get confirmed and just wait. It's very very simple to wait. It's a very uh, easy theory just to be patient and take your steps one time, you know, one day at a time. But the hardest part to do is actually sit there and actually and actually execute it. And I, I think today's session was was pretty solid. Okay, uh, we got the Night of the Living Dead. We got the Amazons to wake up, the Netflixes to wake up, the Squares, uh, the Roku's of the world, the Beyonds of the world. Right? They all woke up. Uh, big topic today was obviously uh, Apple and their event. Uh, they talked a whole lot of nonsense, or at least nonsense in my book. 
Um, you know, they talked new iPads and new iPhones, maybe. I don't even remember. I don't even, I was, honestly don't remember what the hell they talked about. That's a kind of a non-event that really was. You could go through this 30 million sites. You could figure out, you can Google in two seconds, figure out exactly what the hell's going on uh, with the update. But nothing really, a pretty muted reaction. It ran up a little bit. It came in a little bit, got green a little bit. So nothing really there. I think the biggest story uh, continues to be uh, the resilience of the market. Uh, the big option order flow, for example, names like Tesla, we saw really ridiculous option flow today. I mean, yesterday, again, we talked about reclaiming the 10-day moving average, but we saw really, really big aggressive option flow today, tens of millions of dollars uh, in leaps, right? Guys were, were putting a super size on, $5 million, $8 million, $10 million in the option market. Uh, Tesla, again, has the, the whole battery day thing, Majiggy. Uh, going on. So they're probably going to try to run this thing up all the way back to this 491 area. So this continues to be a buy the dip uh, scenario into rising support. But then we started seeing a lot of names, uh, you know, very, very odd names getting good order flow as well. DDOG, uh, all morning we started seeing October 95 calls to get upgraded uh, after the close. Uh, this stock here that we talked about last night, okay, uh, there was a nice little move here, uh, you know, nice little like 80 cent move in LI. But you got to see the order flow on these things. Um, they were coming for the weekly 20s, the 25s, the October 30s. Uh, very, very unusual order flow there as well. What's good about this, a, a name like, like Lee, you could see its track record, right? So every single time it got above the linear regression line like it did today, it started moving up to the next regression line. Same thing here. So I think of this LI, if this thing could close above $18, look what it did uh, just a couple of, you know, just about a month ago, month and a half ago. So this thing does have a lot of uh, potential at any close uh, over $19. Uh, other than that, uh, pretty solid day, okay? Uh, there was something definitely there for, for everybody. Uh, you had $18 stocks, you had obviously $500 stocks and everything in between. But the most important thing is every single, single day, guys, that the lesson is, the common denominator is stay in business. If you miss trades, again, don't be upset right? It happens to everybody. I miss trades all the time. If you mismanage trades, again, unless you're, unless you are a robot or, uh, right? Like night of the living dead, you're going to mess things up. We're human beings. Don't, you know, don't get upset. It's all part of the cycle. Uh, you get what you're supposed to get. You miss what you're supposed to get. Miss again, no frowning, not none of this. Just move forward. There's always something better. Uh, or at least equally as good uh, down the line. So let's talk about uh, tonight's pivots. Uh, again, from the macro point of view, uh, I just want to be, you know, kind of, I just want to show you guys really important what we need to do. Number one, before we even get above this 284 level, we really need to reclaim the 10 day moving average, okay? 10 uh, day moving average is kind of baby steps at a time. Uh, we need to get above this, you know, 281, 282 level. Everybody see these two, two areas here, right? This channel here is 282. Uh, the 10-day moving average is roughly 281.80, so we need to reclaim uh, 282, and then obviously any close uh, 284 is very, very, uh, very, very bullish as well. But in the individual names, uh, some pretty good action today. You know, pretty aggressive as well. Uh, Nvidia, right? So Nvidia, you know, uh, they had their PR, they had a monster gap up. Uh, unfortunately, it never uh, followed through in the pre-market, right? So here is the. 533 I was looking for, right? 533 is the high here, 533 is the high here, ta-ta-ta-ta, it never, it never got through 533, so uh, there was nothing there. Uh, BYD continues to be uh, a very impressive stock. Again, they, they PR all the time, they have a phenomenal PR department, but the stock does do very, very well. Uh, 145.50, 146 needs to build, and BYND looks very, very close to really busting out macro. So it took out this whole 45, 46 area and stopped at, and stopped at the 9, 10 highs, roughly around 150. So that's a big number. You see this, guys? You see, this is going to be a big number going forward, this 150 area. Uh, so definitely set an alert on that. And if this thing does get steam, watch the options market. But if this thing does get steam and starts building over the 150, uh, hell, you could get a move back to 167. So keep definitely keep that on your radar for the next few days. Uh, Tesla again, I mean, I, it's I, I'm telling you, it's it's the best thing Tesla did was split. Um, the liquidity has been phenomenal. You don't need thirty dollar moves in the stock, although that's what it's appearing still to do. Uh, two three dollar moves on Tesla, they're good. Again, remember, it, you know, it's five times. Uh, the price lower when it was when it split. So you know, experienced traders here only 
441, 442. I took Tesla today. It was, I mean, Tesla's been good, really, really good. Uh, 441, 442. You can see here. I, I thought there was a shot, and again, again, I apologize for the E signal. It just never has adjusted from my um, from the split. So it took out the 441, 42, and went right to supply here in the 460s. I think tomorrow, if they can reclaim. Uh, this 463, 465 area, I, I do believe there's a high probability by the end of the week uh, this thing gets down to the, gets up to the 490s. Again, there is a battery event, so there's definitely fuel uh, to the fire. So definitely keep continue to watch uh, Tesla. Um, Alibaba, you know, made a move pre-market. 278 needs to build, and it got rejected at 279. There was nothing really there. Um, so you could see here it got rejected right at the 279 area, close the 278, but it really needs to reclaim now this like 280 level to kind of wake up. So something I want to watch uh, going forward. Uh, Roku, again, a beast of a stock, got upgraded, I think a $230 price target. Uh, we saw a big option flow throughout the week, excuse me, throughout the day. Uh, 175, 180 weekly call buyers, 164 needs to build, and Roku went nuts, and it really did. Roku went nuts. Here is the 164, this whole channel here. It broke 164 and traded to 170 and a half. Why 170 and a half is important and why it got rejected there. If you look at the high from uh, September the 8th was 170 and a half. So you have a double top here. So it really needs to clear out this whole area for a, for a really more uh, big significant move. So definitely keep an eye on Roku uh, down the line. Uh, BIGC never got down to 80. Uh, LI, again, this is the one, uh, again, big order flow came in. Uh, $18 needs to build. Um, you know, it had a big opening push, right? Uh, so here's the $18 push uh, off this $18 level. It actually spiked up pretty aggressively, went to $18.75, closed in the $18.20s. Uh, but again, guys, keep an eye on this thing. The macro importance of the stock, it has to close above the linear regression line over 19. If it does, you can see here, uh, it has big, big potential. Again, weeklies came in for the 20s, the 21s. Uh, and also October 23 uh, calls there as well. Uh, ZM, you know, it really faded off the open. Uh, I traded off that 412 level, went up nothing like 50 cents and really got hit uh, off the open. So there was nothing there. Uh, Pinterest 5730 needs to build. Again, not a big move on Pinterest. Not a big move at all. I mean, it closed higher, but nothing really to talk about. 5730, uh, stock went to th uh, 3780s, closed in the 60s. Um, I still like it. I, I think it, it really needs to reclaim now that 3850, 39 level uh, to test uh, 52 week highs. So you got to keep an eye on that. Uh, DraftKings, you know, it went 49.35, put in a high of 49.88. Nothing, nothing really there. And again, here's a perfect example of Night of the Living Dead. You know, Facebook was dead, dead, buried, just like a lot of names. Uh, 271 rejected twice, needs to build. Uh, here was Facebook, right? Here's the 271 on Facebook right here, this channel right here. Uh, 271, it went all the way up to 274.50. So again, it's not out of the woods macro-wise, but again, it's nice to see that some of these stocks have pulses. Uh, so here, we talk about 20 weekly call buyers, nice spike on Facebook. Uh, Roku just to, continues to be a monster. Here comes 170 uh, pushes. Uh, this is the macro event uh, that we were talking about, some support and resistance levels, and that's it. So I, I think... Um, I think tomorrow, again, uh, you definitely have to be, uh, at least in my opinion, I, I think you until the Qs start losing the five-day moving average once again, uh, you still have to be by bias. I, I think the key levels, again, uh, going forward where you need to kind of start looking at macro levels are close above 84 in the Qs and the SPX, in my opinion, again, and just in my opinion, I think for a really aggressive, accelerated, exaggerated potential move back to the 52-week highs, uh, we need to reclaim 34.25 uh, on a closing basis. And that's it. That's it, guys. Have a great night, everybody. Uh, enjoy your life. Keep smiling. Stay safe. And God's help. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.